Good evening. On Tuesday, Uganda's President Yuri Kaguta Museveni shook up the army, dropping from the position of Command Land Forces General Mohozi Kainerugaba and appointing Lieutenant General Kayanja Mahanga. The shake-up which came with a promotion for both men came after a tweet storm from the first son in which he threatened war Nairobi, ridiculed the Kenyan constitution and warned of change in guard in Uganda come 2026. For many, the latitude of freedom of opinion enjoyed by Mohozi as serving army officer is unique and enviable, but can it be farmed up by the army rules that have once been used to silence generals like Seju Santumkunde? Tonight, on this spot, we have the Army spokesperson, Brigadier General Felix Kulaije, and the scholar Yusuf Serunguma. This is On the Spot. I'm Andrew Chamagero, and be a part of the conversation with the hashtag NTV On the Spot. Gentlemen, good to have you. Good to see you, uh, Mr. Serun Kuba. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah, too, too. <laughs> good to good see to you. Afande <laughs> Kulaije, General, Brigadier General Kulaije, good to see you. Thank you. We had a conversation. The Ascaris at the gates are called Afande and those under me. No, you guys are amusing me. You're, you're holding such a very big rank here. We need to respect. Uh, no, uh, I just want to, to be specific. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brigadier General. Uh, and the specifications are good. Yes. Uh, if you meet doctors, they will tell you mm. you need to have uh, specified what exactly somebody is suffering from, and then you do the correct prescription. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> but so when you you find everybody that is <coughs> is uh, in a uniform mm -hmm. is a fundy, mm. then it takes your time when you say, wait a minute, me am not a fundy. Me am a brigadier general. Yes. Good to see you, brigadier general. Thank you. My first question to you: Why is Mohos being given a special treatment? If I could go back in time, the arrest and trial of General Sejusa and Tumukunde were about the utterances in the political environment which costed them. Why is Mohozi treated differently? First of all, um, what I have come to learn with the Ugandan middle class, mm. you are quick, quick to compare things. But there are rules we are comparing. Uh, just a moment. You are quick to compare things mm. even when the ingredients of the issues at, at, at play mm -hmm. are different. And you want to take them on the same uh, slate or plate. Mm -hmm. um, the, two gentlemen, the two generals yes. earlier on, had so said Tumukunde. And Tumukunde, mm. had made statements mm -hmm to the effect that was undermining the authority of the Commander-in-Chief. The 2005 to Mukunde says uh, uh, playing with the Constitution to take away the, uh, the, the term limits yeah. was wrong? In uniform. In uniform? Yes. Okay. Two, you know Montgomery says, uh -huh. an army without discipline is not an army. Is dead. Hmm. If you have a, a general questioning the authority of the commander in chief, mm -hmm. where are you headed? Disaster. Thank you. So. Yes, they were taken to court. Uh -huh. And? They were tried. And they were charged. And? <coughs> and they came out after, after serving. And? Were they redeployed? No. They yes, were retired. They were. Yes, they were. Hmm. Yes. Yes, they and were. And this is an army officer making listen, utterances. Listen. Hmm. When General Tumukunde mm -hmm. um, came out of jail, came out of court, was promoted two ranks. Mm -hmm. None of you mentions that. He was promoted so from that he brigadier, could be retired. From brigadier mm -hmm. to lieutenant general. Why aren't you commenting about it? But the issue. You are now talking about, listen, mm -hmm. you are now talking about a promotion of a lieutenant general to a general. Uh -huh. One step. Yeah. This one, who had questioned the legitimacy of the, the commander in chief, mm -hmm. who had been tried in the court of law, uh -huh. is not only promoted. 
but catapulted by two ranks. That is not the question, General. Yeah, why are the you question, reading it? The I'm question is, you. why is Mohozi treated I'm different? coming. I'm These coming. two generals yeah, is not were the, arrested listen. and charged because they made listen. utterances in uniform. Listen. He has made utterances in uniform as listen. well. Listen, hmm. which utterances? Are they utterances that undermine the authority? They have of the us diplomatically. That's what I'm saying, that listen. Hmm. You see, if you are going to compete in... No, 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 we are not competing. Races, I'm picking from you uh, and I, taking I, I, the question. I will there. take a back seat and allow you, you to should talk not. Uh, you should not. Because have. I'm not good at raising vo my voice. Mm. Um, General Muhoz's streets. Mm -hmm. Yes, ruffled feathers in another country. One, two. It's not every era that requires legal punitive action. There are several oh. ways of dealing with the error. You can use legal methods, you can use administrative methods. Okay. Okay. So to him it's administrative. That's, that's number one. Number two, like the president explained mm. uh, yesterday, when you consider somebody that has erred, you bring a balance. The error on one hand, and somebody's work or history of work mm -hmm. on the other. And you balance. I may share with you, I will not give names. We had the case of a commander diverting soldiers' pay. Mm. Soldiers going without pay can even lead to a meeting. And indeed, the conclusion was a hammer must fall mm. on this guy. Then I never heard what, wait a minute. Do you remember ABCD? Yes. It's that man who solved the problem. You remember the other one? Yes. It's that man who solved the problem. Given his contribution, therefore, mm -hmm. let go. Mm. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, in the same case with the, if we come back to the matter we are discussing, yeah. already there is administrative action which has been taken. Selectively so. Sorry? In our eyes, as public, it looks to be Selec selective. You, yeah, of course, you're entitled to your judgment. Mm -hmm. But like Jesus said, let whoever has not erred be the first. But he's being treated differently. How? <coughs> How? L let me bring it to, to Sarah Nkuma. What do you see <coughs> when it gets to uh, General, now, uh, the former Command of Land Forces, vis-a-vis -vis the precedents we've had before, 2005 of Tumukunda, and then we had said you said later on with the utterances he made when he was in the UK. What do you make of this? I mean, it's interesting uh, what General College is saying. Uh, when you ask him the question, why is he treated differently? Yeah. It, 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 it's never happened in history that any of the cases we've mentioned, you get perhaps demoted and promoted at the same time. Mm. It's, it's never happened. It's the first time we're witnessing this. But but, but I'll give an example. But they ha they're happening simultaneously. Mr. Serunkuma. At the same time, dropped and picked. Mr. Serunkuma, uh, I've, I've just given an example of a man who was promoted two ranks ahead. I agree, 100%. Yes. 100%. Yes. But I, you ap need to appreciate this is happening simultaneously. Uh, remote from one position. I hope you don't mean to say removal from, from one position is, is his form of punishment he's receiving. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Mohozka in Elgawa is punished by being removed from a position mm -hmm. and then immediately Rewarded. promoted. So, he, I, I hope you don't mean to say that by being removed from being command of land forces is a form of punishment he's receiving, right? But also you need to appreciate that uh, you, you said the other's crimes were questioning the, the authority, the authority of the commander, of the commander in chief. chief. Mm -hmm. You know, declaring war on a, on a foreign country actually questions the, it's, it's a, it's the authority of that country. Yeah, exactly. The so sovereignty. But actually, I think it's worse than what the other guys were saying. You're declaring war on another country. That is really dangerous in the sense that you don't know if the other country actually attacks Uganda. Mm -hmm. Okay? But that's not the line I want to pursue, Andrew, mm -hmm. for my comments. I don't want to follow up on what uh, General Klai just said. What do said. you see from a scholar perspective? I, 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 I really sympathize with the. Uh, the, the, the way this conversation has happened, yeah. I think we are too serious. Mohose's mm -hmm. uh, readers, those reading his tweets are too serious. Yet I think he's trying to be humorous, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And I think there lies a major dilemma in our analysis is that I think Mohose was trying to be funny. 
he where do we draw the line be, with this position? Be, he could be a terrible comedian. Hmm. Uh, but, <laughs> but I think he was really? trying to be funny. Yes, he could be, a, he could be a bad humorist, but he was trying to be funny because the things he said, it's the mm. genius of comedians. Mm. You talk about things that are impossible, mm. right? You know, they think, and he tried to one joke after the other. Mm. There, there was method to his, to his humor. Mm -hmm. uh, so he starts by saying, we'll take Nairobi in two weeks. Even if it were actual war, it's impossible. It's impossible. Right? Mm -hmm. And then he says, which I think was really humorous, where will I live? After and he's, he's asking the Kenyans. Inside. He's asking the Kenyans. Yes. Stands, he's, he's trying to be humorous. Mm -hmm. right? I, I think he's a poor humorist, but his readers are too serious. Right? They, they struggle with most of the readers, and I think this is your problem, mm. is that uh, you know, all of us have Twitter handles. Yeah. Right? And we, we use our Twitter handles for many things, including uh, you know, sharing jokes. Mm. I, I think he uses his Twitter handle that way. The problem he signs off as as commander lands force. That's to do the that. problem. No? Now, Someone no, in charge which of is, land which forces. Which is his correction, Yusuf? It is the Mohozi Kenugaba or MK. Uh, unless it was an, a recent edit. No, even that. No, 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 no. Even the one he. It, like it, it is it? a recent edit. After that drop, that's when he edited. So, the, but, but let me let, let me let me make no, my point. The, that one edited, edited the profile. Yes. But the Twitter handle is from the individual. Not the office. So in the UPDF, do you have handles of specific positions that this is the official handle yes. of the command of land forces? Yes, sir. But yes, and, sir. And let me finish this point. Mm. Uh, and, and I also think uh, Mohozi suffers another handicap. Mm. His failure to dis disintegrate between him as an individual and, the, and the office he handled. Yes. Right? Mm. And you have to excuse him for that. It's not easy to you create this balance, distinction because you're a singular, a singular individual. Mm. You want to be humorous and funny and light with your Twitter handle, but also you double as the command of land forces. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a delicate balance which he so terribly failed to understand the difference. Mm -hmm. Right? And that, that could be excusable. But because of the office he carries, you may find trouble. And I think this is why his readers were really so serious mm. about it. But as, as somebody who is from the creative industry, I, I think uh, he was trying to be funny, but he failed at, at doing it so successfully. But also he suffers that the readers have no sense of humor. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, I don't know if that's also true, but either sense of it's humor... It's tricky to balance. Yes, either he's, the sense of humor of the readers is poor, mm. or he is himself the terrible humorist. Mm. The, the related point to that is, is this thing I've been struggling with to understand. Mm. You know, parents, parents tend to inspire their children, to of teach course. them things. Mm. Uh, I, I know a joke of doctors who used to tell their children, there are lots of doctors out there, yeah. and you have to choose which doctor you want to be. <laughs> and I think this is in some dilemma also. Yeah. I think as, as a man of the military, he tried to, to you know, inculcate this into his children. And I think after some time, he's been overtaken by time. Because mm -hmm. right now, it's a Twitter world. It's a world of, of light hearted. It's a world of, yeah. of, of safe civilians becoming politicians, then taking offices. Mm. Uh, I think if you look at the phases of Africa's history after independence, and uh, from, from coups mm. to liberation struggles, now to street protest, mm -hmm. and then later to sort of uh, democratic autocrat, sort of, you have public people. Uh, eloquent, you have to be eloquent as a, as a speaker, mm. you have to be charismatic, you have to be a populist yes. to take a public office. Now, I think Mohose struggles, and I think Mr. also struggles to see his son, that, to see that the thing that he inculcated into him mm. may not necessarily cut him into, in in, into mm. being the next guy, mm. right? And it's, it's, a, it's a dilemma for Mr. Museveni, it's a dilemma for Mohose at the same time. Mm. Because he, he can only joke about the only thing that he knows, which is soldiering. <laughs> right, and and when he jokes about, he's actually it, funny when you actually find him. And, in the and he's he's joking him. about the things, and he's being unaware that he also holds a very extremely important office, which you can't joke about it. Mm -hmm. So this dilemma, I think, is what we we fail to navigate really properly, and so you readers mm. harassed the Foreign Affairs Ministry to issue a statement. Uh, the readers from Kenya harassed this government to issue a statement. <laughs> You're harassing <laughs> our, our general clergy here but to but explain but somebody's but we, humor. We are not harassing him. This is not the first time. You don't time know how many interviews is given over this. The right? it's, it's, it's In the morning <laughs> he was here. He was still bothered <laughs> with the same issue. My sense is that mm. he, is, he is a terrible humorist yeah. who holds a very important office, he, who has failed to appreciate this, these dynamics. Yeah. And then we're harassing the entire machine to explain this humor, yeah. right? Uh, perhaps maybe later in the later segment we'll talk about the, the what the balance of the... No, no, what, what came first? 
Because one of the things I'm struggling with to understand is what really came first. Mm -hmm. Is it the tweets or the demotion? It's, it was the tweets. Uh, no, I think, I think that's what we've been made to believe. Uh, yes. Right, I think... Because we're following. But... Uh, because because Mohas being, it, being a, a man in the, on the if inside... If, 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 if I could take it a little bit far, we had an issue where there was a tweet about Uganda supporting uh, the TPLF in, um, in uh, the TIG. Again. You there remember you that? Again, there you go. You remember that? I know. The tweet, was, the tweet was not saying Uganda. No. Yes. The tweet of him saying yes. that he was supporting him. Him. Yes. And was saying with our army. These are tweets. Now, and and uh, there was, uh, we understand as media, there was an apology that was accorded to the Ethiopian Prime Minister because the following week he was here. Yeah. And um, then we had a tweet about Uganda opening a flank for the Rwandan soldiers into the Diera Congo. This caused a very big diplomatic issue and an apology was demanded at the same road. So we are having the same person and it's, 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 it's always to the other countries. That is what is bizarre and is in uniform. Well, I think uh, I like the an analysis of uh, Yusuf about the humor. Yeah. Um, given what you are talking about, uh, about other countries, yeah. I, f it, I find it, uh, for me, by the way, for us is in the, in the EPDF, we did not take it serious. Oh. Yes. For two major reasons. One. Reason number one, no general has power to declare one another country. No one. It's the president and parliament. Mm-hmm. And we know it. You know Mohuzi knows it. Mm -hmm. He has no powers to declare war on another country. Two, there are only three people whose statements commit to the institution. The commander-in-chief, mm -hmm. the chief of defense forces, the spokesperson. Three. Our statements. They make or break. They make or break. Mm. I can assure you, if those tweets had been on my Twitter handle, <laughs> would be in case. Thanks would have rolled on the border. Mm -hmm. But you know, again, see who, like uh, Yusuf was putting it, who was putting pressure on governments? Politicians. The populace needed to know. I agree. Mm. But you see, who has tweeted? Who has said it? Was it President Museveni the president of the president? the command country? of land forces. The offices do, do land forces in fight times. alone? They don't. Exactly. So if it is not the chief of defense forces that has said it, then the EPDF is not committed to this. And like I said, for us, we leave it as somebody is uh, loving to tweet. Because if you check, even internally, mm -hmm. you did not see anything that ruffled the institution called the EPDF. Why? Why do you think it doesn't? All those cases you have mentioned, mm -hmm. why do you think we have not been ruffled by it? You've handled this diplomatically on the, on, on the down. Now, however, mm. I wanted to add this. Once the president comes out and issues an apology, at institutional level, finito. Rome Lokuta causa finita. Done. Yes. But, but Andrew, mm -hmm. uh, I, it's, it's not fair that, you know, there's a big elephant in the room. And we're not addressing it. Uh, this is M7's son. Yes. yes. All right? And he's being treated differently. The, he, you can joke about so many things, and mm. it's fine. But the, the nature of the jokes has been tweeting for yeah. a very long time, by the way, not just mm. in the it's, past it's, two weeks. It's focusing on other countries. It's, it's, uh, it, sh it, it should be criminal for a, a, a man in that position and to, in uniform, to really? joke like that. It should, <laughs> it should be criminal too, to the code, the, uh, the UPDF the act utterances. itself. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. But, you know, when Andrew insists, why is it being treated differently? It's simple. He's the president's it's son. He's the president's son. That, 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 that's not a small <laughs> thing. He has so many records. You know, he's a general at his age. Mm. Uh, of you are you are more senior than he is in terms of service. You are saying he's a general at his age. You know, want to become a general uh, at eight years of age. That the president explained yeah, about that, and I'll dive in that a bit yeah, later. But, but this is a different that, scenario. But, but yeah. Brigadier, uh, mm. sorry, I'm calling you. Brigadier. At some point, at some point, yeah. right. at some yeah. point Colonel was part of your name. 
thing. Yes. Mm. We grow up hearing this man Kano. has Colonel Kulaije. Yes. That uh, to this day we still struggle to understand with Brigadier Kulaije. <laughs> yeah, that's because true. Because you stayed at that rank for so long. Mm. Yeah. Right? And it's not just you. There are so many officers who have stayed on ranks for a very long time. There are many officers who but, I thought, listen, but, there are many officers yeah. whom I thought that I now salute. Yeah, but so why is he going to you shouldn't you know take, 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 take credit that. that. That's an anomaly. No, 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 no. It's an anomaly mm. because there should be. In every, every institution, mm -hmm. in every institution, the things happen. Yeah, but, but I find, I find uh, Promotions, listen. Yes. Promotions will depend on several factors, wow. including mm -hmm. the need. No, the, okay. what, what a coincidence what, what that after all this uproar, there is a drop and pick up. There's no pickup. Oh, come yes. on. I mean, the, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> Brigadier General, the, the, the strangeness of, of the reshuffle that happened uh, mm. yesterday, was it yesterday or the other day? It was Tuesday. yesterday. Uh, mm. is, is that it, it just happened to one individual specifically? Two individuals. No, no, no. Let me mm. say one individual. I mean what I'm saying. Mm. One individual was being removed from a position and somebody had to take it over. Yeah. Because it couldn't be one, yeah. So it was actually meant for one individual. Now, that, that's, that's, that's record breaking, right? The, that's the only one that has happened. Can I remind so, you? So that's the speciality of what can, Andrew can is I remind That's you. what we want to dive into. Can I remind you? Mm. General Kayanja Mohanga was promoted to Major General in 2020. Mm. Right? And the proportion of uh, uh, him alone? Yes. And appointed coordinator of operations and campaign. Him alone? Yes. Mm. Yeah, but af af the point that, wait, mm -hmm. there was, it, that was okay. Mm. It doesn't cause any question. Yeah. It doesn't cause a discussion. Yes. Yes, five. Let's go. A year later, he's a lieutenant general. Correct. That's okay. Why, when it comes to General Mohoske and Rugawa, it becomes. An issue for debate. The coincidence comes that after all these utterances, that's when the promotion is actually there. He's dropped and then he's I, picked. And I, I, I think, uh, Andrew, I, I, you know, I have a problem <laughs> with that. Mm. I, I, I don't think that it was the tweets then the the demotion. What can be for the, the hiatus between the the father and son has been there for a very long time, mm -hmm. right? Because you remember the tweets that you read at the very beginning, yeah. uh, where an apology had to be issued uh, for. For, for, for those this, this different uh, neighboring neighboring countries, mm. uh, so it's been happening. And Mohozvan received warning from his dad yes. uh, to say your Twitter handle needs to be regulated. And we know I, we're dealing with not not a very obedient son. Yeah. He, there's a bit of stubbornness about him, mm. uh, which I don't know personally, but you can tell from we can tell from his tweets. I don't know it either. So oh, so so he, 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 here is what here is what here is what we're missing. Yeah. We are missing the continuity of this push, shoving and pushing between son and, and father. And father. Mm -hmm. We're missing that when we, when we tend to plot a linear trajectory of events. When we sense. say it was tweets, then demotion. Mm. As an insider, mm. was on the inside, he knew this was coming. He must have known this. Was, I, I don't believe that at his level, he didn't know that mm. you're going to be removed from this position. Mm -hmm. So then he goes on rampage. Rampage in the sense that he attempts to lighten the, the news, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He lightens the 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 the, the 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 way events are going to happen by taking us on a roller coaster of supposedly <laughs> he must <laughs> we'll run with the tweets, which <laughs> which uh -huh. which actually wasn't really super funny as to expect to be. Yeah. And now it's, we are not discussing uh, this hiatus between father and son because you know every time th something happens to Mohose, mm. our initial instinct is transition. Yeah, something yeah, is coming. Yeah, some, no, no, mm. transition, because we've had the Mohose project. Mm. Uh, we know Savini is quite old. He might collapse at any one time. Mm. We are always thinking transition, right? So to lighten the moment, because you know, when he was appointed uh, commander of forces, Land forces, we were discussing transition. And we said, months. okay, now that he's in charge of the largest wing of mm -hmm. the UPDF, the possibly he's being prepared for the transition, right? Mm -hmm. If anything happens, he should be positioned to have, you know, the, the command charge. over mm. the hugest chunk of the UPDF, right? Mm. So we're discussing transition. Mm. Now he's dropped. When he's being dropped, we're still discussing transition, but we should really focus on transition in this context. Some Hosey, which I think it would be smart of him, if what mm. I'm saying is accurate, accurate, he says, I need to lighten up this moment. So the treats are the diversion. And you, and you have fallen for it. Yeah. Because you see, one of the assumptions that is governing this conversation, uh, which I think is very problematic, is the seemingly innocent trajectory we are attacking mm -hmm. that was tweets then 
the demotion. The demotion. Mm. Uh, no, I think I think that we are, <laughs> we are wrong on that. Of uh, <laughs> Kulaiji, we are going to it get. It was what? It we was are going I, to I, get I back to, to the, reverse, That is I, his I analogy. It was. It was, what, it was, it was dismissal. From knowing that. No, it, it, it was. New, it's going to be announced, and then he said it needs to be lightened up. Let me lighten up the and moment with the tweets. He, he's successful. Let's I take a break. Is this is that, on the sport and we're <laughs> live on NTV. When we get back, we're going to be reading a couple of your tweets. The hashtag is uh, NTV on the spot. Tell us what you think. The reshuffle, the unprecedented reshuffle in the army. We'll be back shortly. Hello again, it's still on the spot on NDV. I'm Andrew Chamagin, and we're having a conversation on the unprecedented uh, reshuffle. With me in studio, I have uh, the Army spokesperson the of the NDV, that is uh, Brigadier General Felix Kulaij, and I have a scholar, Yusuf Serunkuma. Those on Twitter were part of the conversation. Thank you so much. I see um, Drow. Drone 78, we have here saying that these are matters of the general. Uh, Bob Pastor says that Omkunde belonged to the inner circle, total inside man. Um, awareness matters. H, okay. Uh, this one says Tumukundu was treated uh, differently because he's a relative to President Museven, just like Mohozi. Thank you so much for proving uh, our point. Back to Keep the tweets coming and let's have the conversation going. You had the analogy of Cyril Kuma as a scholar, a different direction, a different angle. General, uh, Brigadier General, is the army considering looking at the agreement of the conversation the army had with the president and the presence of uh, General Mohozi? This was a conversation that was, that was before the Ntungamo meeting about his utterances. Is the army concerned about this? Um, like I said earlier, mm -hmm. not every error calls for punitive action. Mm. Yes. There is a, a word I've learned today. Mm. Um, antecedents. Antecedents. It's in reference to mitigating factors. Mm that are considered before you decide whether you want to bring a hammer or you want to say administratively, let's handle this. Mm -hmm. um, two, like I said, you see, can I give you an example? If your immunity is normal <coughs> or good, you do not fear meeting somebody who has a flu or cough. Because you're stronger. Because you're stronger. Mm -hmm. The EPDF is strong. So even when a general errors, you say, are we concerned? Or are we worried? We are not. Because we have mechanisms within to deal with these issues. What precedent has he set for the young juniors within the But I've given you a different uh, analogy example. In the near I will tell you, diplomatically what General uh, did is an issue. Yeah. But in the military, when you attack the commander in chief and you are in uniform, it's the worst you, you can, it's a sacrilege. Mm. But people have been forgiven after that. Like I said, I also give you an example. Somebody messed up matters that affect lives of, of soldiers, not one, not two. Payments. Payments. Mm. But when they considered the money's contribution, they said, we can let him off mm -hmm. with a question. So the point I'm making, uh, and again it's about interpretation. Many of you are saying, no, 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 the hammer should fall. This man, then the, the scholar brings another dimension. We are not saying the hammer Wait should fall. Wait a minute. We are saying, can we follow the rules of procedure within the UPDF, um, uh, the UPDF Act Section 38 on how an officer can be charged um, when they make harmful propaganda statements. Yeah. Harmful propaganda. Mm -hmm. Why this, would his this, statements this, harmful this to the region? This was not harmful propaganda. This was to not the propaganda. region? It was not propaganda. They were tweets. 
over an individual. In my generation, Gen Brigadier General, what you put out online mm -hmm. communicates. The president didn't address the country. He used the Twitter to apologize I agree. and repeat it. Simply. I agree. The same thing. Mm -hmm. The son used the same Twitter handle to say what the utterances he made. Like I have told you, we understand the difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Three, I've also told you, even when an error is committed, mm -hmm. there are measures, there are mechanisms to address it. But, uh, Andrew, if I can come in here. <coughs> you know, I, I, I General Kolaija is, is trying to lighten mm. the crimes of Museveni's son, mm. right? Crimes? Of uh, General Mohose, please address him as this, such. This, 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 well, mm. what I've also said is true. <laughs> yes, Both are correct. Yes. Yeah, what, what he said is factual. Yes, factual. yes it's uh, true. Yeah. Mm. That, that, it prompt, that his utterances prompted the commander in chief to apologize, yeah. it means yes. they were significant. Yeah. And yeah. there are yes. errors. Mm. Yes. And, and, and when, when you are drafting the UPD fact, mm. the UPD fact, you didn't say, but oh, the only crimes that are punishable, that will be warranted mm -hmm. trial, mm -hmm. are those which question the authority no, of the no, commander. No, 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 no. Me, right? me, me I've tried so to explain to the, you. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the UPDF Act spells out so many things that are criminal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if, if, you, if you do A, B, C, D, you should, be, you should undergo a trial. You are liable to this. Very yes. much. So, yes. So uh, General Kleidje here is trying to sing out one as the major one. Questioning the authority, mm -hmm. and I think, and I think he's doing a good job trying to lighten the crimes of uh, <laughs> uh, General General. Uh, but I, mean, I, I, but I want you, to, I want you to realize this, mm -hmm. and I think you, you're pushing General Kleji into a very difficult conversation, right? No, I, I and, really and, want and us and to the, get the in that best, The best he can do mm. is to say, um, Hose's crimes are lighter crimes; they can be handled administratively, which is a, which is a nice way of saying, well, we'll do nothing about them. You have rules of but, procedure. But but I think let's focus. Maybe we should take. General Kulaija out of this conversation, maybe deal with son and, and But he and speaks father. for the army and he's a man in uniform. You know, I, one, one thing I want to do is I want us to sympathize with Mr. Museveni. Right? Sympathize with Mr. Museveni. Dealing with a stubborn son. <laughs> you, need, you need to, you need to simple because every parent goes through you, this. Of, of course, you but a son who is what stubborn at 46 years. What, what did you feel on this evening? Because this is a son <laughs> we who had is a meddling. Before. This is a son who is meddling in matters of other countries. Yeah. And President Seven is very concerned about regional, the regional issues, right? And this young man mm. is endlessly meddling in these issues, issuing utterances. And the president is worried. Mm -hmm. But here is the dilemma. You, you can't be as lethal and very punitive against your own son. Mm -hmm. As a father. As a father. Mm -hmm. So here is, you put a son in the public domain, you know, catapulted him into very many positions, perhaps even with the possibility that he could take over after, maybe I've collapsed, he called him Hosey to mean his avenger. Mm -hmm. The possibility that this young man will take over after me. Yeah, but, but when, when, when now, you, you collapse, it's a natural, with it's a natural currency. So what is struggling here is that the son, the son is acting without tact. He's clueless about regional issues. You know, I agree with Mohos, for example, in Russia, but politically, it's inaccurate to, do, to, to, to put out the utterances he did. I, I love his humor, mm -hmm. but you can't joke about these regional issues. Mm -hmm. right? He says, my army, you know, we know, we can easily make the connection. But Your dad are you aware of the civilians who call, him, who call themselves his army? Exactly, but you know, but, so that's the thing, that's the thing. Uh, 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 Brigadier General, uh, acting this without is tact. someone saying my army and is the Andrew, commander Andrew, of land forces. Let me finish this. This is this acting without tact bothers the dad a, a great deal. Mm -hmm. And this is why we see him, you know, it's, 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 sub, it's really so bad for to him that, with that he, has, he has his son in the public domain mm -hmm. that <coughs> as, you know, parents tend to act retributive against our children. Mm. But then he's your son who's the public. You don't embarrass him by simply dropping him. So you, you drop him, but mm -hmm. at the same time you want to make you feel good so you reward him with something mm -hmm. right so we you know when if you look at the ways in which the UPDF has been run you know uh, right because my army is actually the daddy's language it's not necessarily Moses language he's speaking like father <laughs> and he keeps on saying my father my father's army my great father stuff like that it, it's, it's like a, a family affair it's like a family affair. You need to appreciate. And is in uniform. You, you need to appreciate this as family affair. Mm. And I think you know the young man has, has appreciated the idea of a family affair. That you know I can get away with whatever I want. You know if if, if that dad, if you have a dad, and, and really I, I want to take uh, a general clergy out of this so that we can focus very clearly mm. on <laughs> son and son and dad, and the troubles of you know when you have your son who if you as a parent you go around, uh, you know. This is my avenger. <laughs> you know, if you, you elevate the young man's ego, yeah. 
he can do things that could surprise you at the same time. He could go maybe attack the neighbor, and you're like, I didn't, right. I didn't tell you to start throwing stones at neighbors' houses. Mm. You know, but you said, Dad, I'm your... I'm avenging. I'm avenging you, mm. you know? He thinks like that. Mm. So this is, this is... I really understand Seven's dilemma, and I really sympathize with him, because I've seen parents struggle with naughty, stubborn children, mm -hmm. right? Now, I, I think, Andrew, I hope we can transition this conversation <laughs> to discussing <laughs> okay. the big elephant in the, in the room, which is transition. Let's, let, let, let's get there. No, 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 but, but, no, but I think uh, you're again not... You're bringing something else. No, we're still going to view. stick to the army because yes. when, who did this was a man when, in, the, when, when you, you know, in the uniform, rather. I, I know it is uh, popular to discuss transition. Mm. But we've been uh, discussing transitions because the connection. I found the polite. <laughs> Sorry. Let me bring it, to, let me bring it closer I, I, to I don't you. make my point here. Okay. I, I know I get amused about the word transition. Mm. Because in my understanding, transition means that you have a temporary arrangement and you're going to accede a more long-term arrangement. Mm -hmm. True or false, Mr. Scholar? Depends uh, on what you say. <laughs> I don't no, know. I, must, I don't <laughs> know when it comes to Mr. Scholar. I'm, 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 no, I'm, I'm, I'm not asking this mm. uh, uh, <coughs> in, uh, in uh, uh, sarcastically. Mm. Yeah. No. I'm genuinely, you mean it. You I mean, I genuinely want to learn. Mm. No, I mean, transition could mean one thing, moving from one to the other, or Extension of extension. the agenda. It, it, has, it has a bit of vagueness there. Mm -hmm. it, it could mean mm -hmm. moving on from this, transiting to the other. Because for me, the, the, uh, as, a, as a student of conflict resolution, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was told once a conflict is ending, you have an arrangement aimed at healing the warring parties, mm -hmm. and then you make arrangements and you move to forward. transit mm -hmm. to a more the constitutional establishment that we have things changing uh, routinely mm. uh, according to, the, to, the, to lo the law of the land. Now, so this talk about, we are discussing discipline in the army, mm -hmm. we are discussing issues that are for the region, and then uh, my brother here the was transition bringing, comes in. Bringing transition. No, I find it, if uh, it's a crime, it's not original <coughs> to me. Uh, mm. Bob Wine tweeted, uh, I, I know you appreciate Bobby Wine if he tweets, I think his tweets are quite significant. He tweeted, he said, um, someone has promoted his son, mm -hmm. so that may, soon old time could retire him, and then prepare him to take over, continuing the Raktura dynasty, as Andrew Munda mm -hmm. famously called it. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, that's a big concern, you know. And as I said at the very beginning, we've, uh, 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 in this country, we, we have had processions, birthday parties, which are touted as and, uh, and, and, and th preparing the young man. That's where he was coming to Fundy. Um, so it's, it's a good deal <coughs> of concern for us as Ugandans who, mm. who sit away from the, the, power. the UPDF. Mm. So when we see uh, a supposedly potential head of state, right, being moved from one position to another, we, we, we think about it, we, we read about it. Even Uganda and the potential head of state. No, no, we have one who has the <laughs> liberty, the, oh, the sing, we have the single one, <laughs> who has the liberty <laughs> to, to move do campaigns everything. across the country yes. without, without any hindrance. If you saw what happened in the last uh, thing they called an election, mm. uh, nobody, <laughs> even when it was a time for actually the campaign to be <laughs> next president, you saw what happened. So we have a young man here, for the first time in our history, we've had a Ugandan who can even go sit next to the president and talk about taking over from the man he's next, next to. <laughs> so it's, it's a big deal, and this is the young man who is now being dropped. I found a clergy. Let me, I have a small point of delivery. And mm. you see me, I, you, you know, I found, I should tell you, I, 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 I am Tim Hosey in a way. But I want it, I want I want Tim Hosey, I want Hosey to be the next president of the country, only if he was able to quiz that. You see, my, my love affair with Hosey came at the time because I, it's a young people's generation. Mm -hmm. He needs to do a thing of valor, mm -hmm. a thing that will catapult him into the public domain as a man Grounded. who has an act of valor. His father went to the bush mm -hmm. and came to Kampala marching with uh, uh, the old guard, including <laughs> uh, General Klaiji uh, here. Uh, 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 and we welcomed them. Uh, 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 an act of valor. So when he's dropped, I was so concerned. Because, you know, when they put him in that position, I was like, maybe this is cause. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. You know, he would, uh, a single act of valor, which, by all indication, is uh, just one event, uh, somehow maybe building a serena for <laughs> Mr. M7 in Ruzira. And he takes uh, over. Now, uh, when he's dropped, uh, uh, I'm telling you, I'm not alone. Many Ugandans. 
he has, you said he has the Mohose army. <laughs> the yeah. Mohose army wanted him to take over. Now he's being dropped. And when I say we should be discussing transition, you want to keep away from it. I'm telling you, uh, uh, General Klaije, it's a big conversation in the public domain. No, I, that I, I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Anything that touches more touch touch when, when it gets to the issue of uh, transition, mm. General Muhozi is on record having come out and expressed his political ambitions. He's interested in being a politician. He's interested in being a politician. Yes. And it's on record that uh, General Mujisha Muntu came out and told him, you're doing it wrongly. Get out of if you issue. want to get in that arena, retire from the army and you come out. This is a 46-year-old um, at his age and at his age, rank yeah. and coming out and, you know, publicly making his ambition about politically, you know, running the affairs of this country brings him to this conversation mm -hmm. of the transition. Mm -hmm. An officer in uniform showing interest, <clears throat> speaking all this, the UPDF is still not worried about. Mm. No, you're not. In no. uniform? Yes, because we know the procedure you need of becoming a candidate. You must retire. What kind of precedent does this set for the other junior officers? But I've asked you others before. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Where else have you seen a general desert? And then come back a year later. Desert, declare war. He comes back later. He's actually formally retired. Where else have you seen it? It's, 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 it's a different precedent. But Mohose has quite a, a lot of No, but you see things. the point I'm making. There are other precedences where we have had what you'd call considerations before you raise your hammer. Tell me a general right? who has had parties all over the country and celebrating his birthday and in the uniform and is actually, you know, left to go uh, bare and he's, he's, he's never either reprimanded or something. They have not had the parties. What were those? Listen, what do you call those? No, I said they have not had parties. He mm. did, of course. I have told you, and I want to give you an example. He retired General Sejusa. Mm -hmm. He left this country in 2013. Went to London. Went to London. Mm -hmm. Declared intentions to remove government. Yeah? I remember that <laughs> interview. Now, legally, that is called treason. True. You want to compare that to somebody expressing interest? Are they compared? was charged. Uh, <coughs> which, which court of law? When he came back here, the treatment you gave him as an army, it was. Which court of law? It was brought before the court martial. He made the president. He made the president of the, of the land. Mm -hmm. I have not. I didn't declare who in this country. After the Chakabari, mm -hmm. crossed to Rwanda with the Samson Mandi, declared who in this country. He came back? He came back. He even received a medal. Mm. So what I'm telling you is that what you are referring to is not new as far as UPDF is concerned. We have mechanisms we employ, all right, to say yes, <laughs> Chamagul has this issue, mm. but Chamagul has made this contribution, one, two, three, four, five. Given this, we can forgive here. And then we move. And those are time-tested methods that have kept this institution for the 36 years in power, for 40 how many? 40 from 81. 42 years. Time Those are time and they're tested. Working. And they're working. Let's is there, Andy, General Kuraji has so successfully cornered you. No, no uh, I'm not. I'm, These I'm, are I'm still not convinced He's because so successfully cornered you. <laughs> the, issue, <laughs> the, the issue does not make sense still because Mohozi has quite a lot of unique things so that point I'm in the uniform you know, uh, and he still goes away with you it. You see, General Mohozi's crime is being the son of a president. Uh, so this is how you've been cornered, Andrew. Uh, uh, I find the general clergy has so far demonstrated mm. that uh, General Sejusa uh, uh, received the same treatment the way Mohos is being treated. And, and I think you seem to have fallen for that too. <laughs> I, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> we know the hostility mm. those soldiers have received, right? Irrespective of the the amends that have been made by the president, reach out to them because they're serious soldiers. Mm. They're historical as him. Uh, but that doesn't take away the hostility they received. And, and he's not focusing on the hostility Sejusa Timukunde have been receiving. Mm. <coughs> and he's trying to demonstrate to you, and I think you're buying into it, that, you know, it's the same as those others. It's not the so same. So you, you need to appreciate that, it's that this, we've been doing this for a long it's time. Our soldiers are, and then we recognize 
ends and then everything is good. And to that, to the, de the degree he's kept on saying that, yeah. he's, he's lightened, he's made light of, uh, of the big issue. Of but, and, the, and these are facts, sir. <laughs> you see. <laughs> but, and, and, and I think Please. Mm. we don't have enough time for this show mm. to go over every single uh, moment of hostility that has been thrown, mated at those other soldiers. Men in uniform. And this, this, this younger general has received neither. Right? In fact, there's a red carpet for him. You know, the wonderful thing that happened was that you get Kita from a position and you get appointed it. immediately. Mm. In the same letter, which is from one thing, gives you another. Mm. That is unique to him. And you, if, if we, we you, you guys should do a show right now that he's, he's <laughs> comparing the treatment of all the generals and this singular general. Th that would be a tough show, the, and the, we'll have it somewhere. The uniqueness day. of it mm -hmm. will be so astounding that you see that, you know, blood is thicker than water, blood is thicker than historicals, the claims of the historicals. So, so I think we should leave that at that. I, I wanted to engage you, Serum mm -hmm. Kumba. Mm -hmm. The president is apology. He comes out and he apologizes. We as the media were trying to analyze the speech. You can tell the tone of the president is angered. He's pissed. He's annoyed. And he apologizes at the different layers of all this. From where you sit and stand, Yusuf, what do you see in this later? You know, of you, uh, it's a public, but it's the first one of its kind. You know, us readers of Shakespeare know uh, the saying, doomed if you, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Right? <laughs> so <That's> the, right. <laughs> the, the, the president is in a hard place. Mm -hmm. it's, in, it's between a rock and a hard place. It's a mm. very difficult position he's in, right? You have a young man that you've promoted. Uh, he's your son. You've given him access to authority. Mm -hmm. You've given him access to the large agent of the UPDF. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, this young man is acting with attack, right? So if you if you embarrass him by perhaps simply dropping him, uh, and then maybe having him go through a trial, it also reflects on you, your sense of judgment. As a father, at, 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 why did you? I'll enable him all of this if you knew he wasn't capable. Because at forty, it's when wisdom comes in. He's past forty. Uh, it will have a reflect on him as a dad and as a commander in chief, mm -hmm. gifting and privileging and advantaging a reckless son. Mm. So that's a difficult position he's in. And because of that, uh, he's also been now put in a position where he has to apologize because the reception that has met his son's actions are diff is difficult. Mm -hmm. he, has, he has so much at stake. Uh, the Kenyan president was supposed to be here. Yes. Celebrating this time. Mm -hmm. So you need to make amends and appear. So that's why he's he's in a difficult position. If you punish your son, it's embarrassing even about to you. you. Mm -hmm. If you apologize, it's equally embarrassing. Mm. So you, you you choose to you know choose to which, balance which is lighter. Mm. Right, you punch your son and promote him and then also apologize. Right there. Right. So isn't it this is let's let, let, let's first take a break for now. Our friends and comrades who are watching this wherever you're watching from, it's on the spot. The conversation is about the unprecedented reshuffle of the first son to a general and the public utterances. We'll be back shortly. Hello again, it's NTV on the spot. I'm Andrew Chamagdan. We are live from Kampala Serena Conference Center in the studios. I have the Army spokesperson, Brigadier General uh, Felix Clyde, and the scholar Serum Kuma Yusuf. A couple of you have been tweeting about these, and I want to sample some of the feedback you've been giving. On the spot, this one says, indeed, it's humor, um, Mr. Yusuf, and sadly, very important. People are talking about it. Ashraf in Entebbe. I have actually woken up from all. Oh, Let's, uh, let's go back to, to the feedback. I have actually woken up uh, from the seven and son dream. Also, I believe now that this was a plan by dad and son. Well done. Uh, moving on. Hello, Andrew. Uh, thanks for the show. This is Opid Barnard Alfred from Mukono. Ideally, I don't have a good job, but I don't think I wish to be in the place in which men like Brigadier Kulaiji are sitting right now. Museveni and his son have developed a tendency of talking and acting carelessly and leave the colleges to clean up the mess. 
it's very ridiculous that we should spend this evening discussing someone's nonsensical behavior. I bet Mohozi will pee in his pants soon and the men in the uniform and most government officials will but throw their thumbs up praising him. Uh, thank you, Peter. Uh, moving on. Lawrence Baringo from Qatar. We want to see computer misuse law also act on these people in government, not only the innocent Ugandans. Um, then Akatambira Max says, good evening. Thanks for the show. Brigadier Felix uh, should stand on the truth and say that the general worked contrary to the UPDF Act and there should be a serious intervention. Thank you. This one says, good evening, gentlemen. It's me, Kenneth, from Machi, India. So, General Mohozi, he deserves that position according to his effort. I salute you, Afandi Felix. Uh, then Buambali from Mukono says, Brigadier General, please, we are tired of Mohozi's reckless tweets. He is not bigger than UPDF and Uganda at large. I wish you openly tell Uganda that he is wrong, other than meddling and defending him. If he was any other officer, the UPDF would have taken action, but because he is the son of the president. And uh, maybe last but not least, uh, before we proceed, thanks for the show. This is Emmanuel from Entebbe. Please remind General Kulaije that there are people who are battling in court because of what he calls just tweets. What will the NRM government stop? Uh, when will the NRM government stop showing double standards? This is On The Spot. We're coming back shortly. Gentlemen, you had the feedback from the other side. And um, I want us to dive into the promotion of Mohozi. Uh, there is some rumbling about the promotion of Mohozi, yet there have been very many people in the queue who have never been promoted um, to that rank, you know, including the incoming uh, uh, command of land forces. The question has been uh, combustible within the army. And uh, um, if, if, if I remember correctly, there was a story that was carried by uh, the Daily Monitor, Afande Kulaije, Brigadier General Kulaije, <laughs> when uh, uh, General Mohozi now visited uh, Somalia. And one of the captains who, who, who joined the army with him, he asked him a question. That I'm a captain, how comes you've been catapulted that fast? You know what happened to that captain? When we come to the issue of... Um, promotion can the army you know just make a kind of a self um, introspection on how you know this can be uh, how people go for converted uh, trainings abroad who qualifies how they're chosen and the criteria within that make this kind of rumbling within the corridors of the army you know sis when i was joining formally because mm. at first i was informal kadogo when I was joining formally, I went with a colleague from university, who is from the East. Mm. Whereas the man joined out of his conviction, his relatives said, Kulaija is taking you in their thing. Relatives? His relatives. Mm. Don't go. Other than the basic training, and the basic officer's course. <coughs> this officer has done all his courses abroad. I have done only one <coughs> outside. Mm -hmm. Me who, ha who was taking him in our thing. What am I saying? Mm. One was career progression. We will not be put on the same plate with another one. There will be selection either according to your brains, according to your performance, according to your capabilities, according to the formal education you have, <laughs> according to which courses you have done in, in the civilian world. There are several reasons. And as we speak, this gentleman now is a hero in that family. He's a general like me. There is a tendency for people making judgment. When I was in Kenya on the senior command, I was with a colleague from here. 
some officer he has to say, oh, you see these guys here? They are both majors, but uh, Felix is uh, more powerful than this one. <coughs> and it's, it's before when he finishes, of course, he's going to be promoted. When he returned, my colleague was promoted before me. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. What I'm saying is that when you are outside, you can begin discussing promotions with that ease. Internally, we know the dynamics that go on. Yes, she mentioned I was a kind for nine years. Mm. Was it because the, the institution was not interested in promoting me? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there are individuals who are not interested in seeing me grow. Maybe, maybe not. But the point I'm making is that each one of us has his own uh, trajectory that that uh, he or she takes. I will give you an example. A gentleman who was uh, introduced <coughs> the paratroopers in this country. That's a fact. We didn't have <coughs> them. Mm. He did not only really introduce; he trained them, built the Presidential Guard Brigade into the Special Forces Command we have today. You want to remove that achievement from him, or that contribution? No, that contribution was <laughs> valid, and we want to appreciate him for that. But now, when we get to other you see, people, the I captain mean, you are those referring who have been in the to, trenches that the captain you are, deserve the, the captain you are referring to. Mm. One may even have asked him, "Show what you have done." So for me, this man was serving in Somalia. Yes, mm. yeah, but how, uh, how many have served in Somalia? Thousands. I have been in the combat several times. <laughs> so, so what do you uh, make of the point? So if it's about uh, something, mm, so yeah, what the uh, point I'm making, mm. <coughs> when you begin discussing promotions in a professional institution, you are hazarding <laughs> to deal with the but matter. But this is quite unique. Uh, uh, but uh, Andrew, Andrew, mm. I, 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 Andrew, I, I need mm. to, we need to, we, you need to appreciate the brilliance that Kolaja has brought on the show. Mm. Uh, come no, on. I really appreciate it. One of the things is... <laughs> Stop your sarcasm. No, no, I'm not sarcastic. No. One, of, one of the things you've just done so successfully mm. is to, to, you know, reaffirm and articulate that the process order and criteria that is working in the UPDF promotions, you know, channels. But that, that what he has done, been mm. even when he, he actually gave himself the example, example to say... Nine years. I was kind of for nine years, right? Yes. I think Andrew's question was this. Is there a clear-cut criteria that when you join the military, you aspire to do A, B, C, D, to be promoted? Is it there? Because it can't, yes, be, it is. It can't be the whims of single individuals saying, That's the Andrew thing. is brilliant, Felix is not. Let me promote this one, let no. me promote the other. It's not individual, they are t they it's yeah. a team. Oh, that's what you just it's explained. It's and that's what you want to know. What are the procedures? You have to discuss the procedures here? Uh, <laughs> General, General <laughs> let me finish this. What you've just explained, clearly exposes the absence of criteria. That's true. Because right. you said, maybe not, maybe somebody yeah. wanted to, mm. maybe this, they could depend on this, they could be on your brilliance, they could, could discuss, there's no criteria. What was the criteria that your colleague, who is a general, did so many courses abroad and you, you did one? What was the criteria? Nothing. Nothing. He just did many courses because somebody selected him to go do those courses. And yes. he, you only got one. Why didn't you qualify so yet? Because, because the because professionals you've spoken about, there should be clear cuts that me. are at this level. <coughs> Listen to me. Not everybody will go abroad. Right? But if, if I'm... If Listen. A professional organization should yes, have the criteria but not to, to send We don't have abroad. the resources to take everybody. But this is a professional... So some will go abroad that has to trade from locally. That, that has to be established. It, has to, it can't be dependent. No. It, it because that's what you're saying, professional organization. I have told you, professional organizations... If you check, for example, to the enemies of health, hmm? there are quite several doctors that you regard to be junior. But there are commissioners, and those who are senior to them are in Morago. For this conversation, let's stay in the army. Because no, 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 that, but you that's, see, that, that's why you want what to, I'm to, you, to what know I'm what I'm pr proving who, to who you. Who qualifies to be Andrew, promoted and who not? Andrew, I will not discuss who qualifies. I've told you, in every profession, their dynamics. But uh, and yes. can I come in? 
Yeah, please. I, I think it's, it's beautiful. And I, would, I wouldn't want you to gag General for taking the meter, the conversion from the meter to the public domain. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> you have started it. I wouldn't. <laughs> Be, I, because Mohozi's promotions have been super if, fast. If we could reflect using the pu public service to reflect <laughs> on the military, well, right? Maybe. Because we could consider public service too. Mm. Uh, we have seen the absence of criteria in promotion. In, in the ways in which public <laughs> sub service mm. jobs are given out, mm. right? The adverts come out when the jobs are already given. Mm -hmm. Uh, the selections happen to those who when don't even are to those who don't even <coughs> apply. Mm. Jobs are advertised, but the ap appointments happen. Mm. You know, somehow they happen, even mm. if you haven't submitted your application. Mm. Uh, going by General's analogy, that you know, you know, you can take examples from the public service to military service. Mm. As scholars of politics, when you talk about the capture of public service where there's no criteria, mm. it doesn't apply to just public mm. service. Mm. If you take the military as public service too, it cuts across. So if, and as Jeno has tried to do, mm. I think not quite successfully, but maybe for you. To sanitize. To, to, uh, to argue for the presence of order in mm. promotion. We yeah. have a young general here whom we've seen run so. through the ranks really fast. Mm. Like really just mm. run through. And, and, and General, you, you, you could argue for the presence of order, mm. but us as the public, we don't see it. Mm. We don't see it. And, and you could tell us as being judgmental and rushing to make this judgment, <laughs> but the, the truth will stand out. <coughs> you, you can't hide it. Wh what we saw uh, two days ago is that actually you can, somebody can take me from position and reward it. In the same time. And the, and the so-called uh, Mohozi army, which is uh, <laughs> a very active on, on social media, <laughs> is celebrating because what would have happened as, as to reigning, you know, Nane Ran, uh, and, uh, and uh, on a reckless <coughs> son mm. by taking him from a, a serious position, say, take him away from this position. Maybe he's and he was over. he was taken away. But then his army is proud of the promotion because right now he I don't know if he's, you don't sit where he sits now. Uh, your brigadier general, his mm. general. So mm. say these are matters of the generals. And he's on the high command. Uh, no, I, general, I, you're, I, not, I you're not there. Mm. I sit there. <laughs> Mm. Maybe to speak, what, maybe as a, as a spokesperson. You know, start from one star, you know, to four star. Ma first maybe as a, as a spokesperson, but when we say full generals, you yeah. may not sit where I'm holding. No, 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 I've not seen a forum of full generals alone. If, if, mm. if I can buy what Sejusa uh, said, Sejusa said that, uh, unquote, some officers are being prisoners of conscience and they're held hostage not to leave the army. Brigadier General, there are some officers within the army who are frustrated and they would wish to retire. Why can't they be retired if they're but, not being promoted? But you promoted? are aware, we are aware, you are aware, we have retired uh, 12 batches of generals and officers. And that one we know. All right. But there are still those who have not been promoted all, and yet this person is coming one rank to another. Two. And, and running two, all. Two, I am not aware of any general who has been, who has applied to retire and has not been retired. Now, none. Let's come back here. Sir Nkuma, what do you see? Do you see General Mohoz retiring soon with all this ambition he's already put out in the public domain and his age, 46, at his rank? Do you see him retiring soon? You know, I think you're hitting at the transition right here, right? That's what I'm coming to. You're going along it. <laughs> I, I am not <coughs> in, in the business of speculation, mm. right? I'm, I'm very make, uh, happy to make analysis. That makes it to us. On, mm. on some, 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 some evidence, mm -hmm. right? And, and, and some historicization. I, I, am, I think, I think uh, dad and son are hooked onto the idea that you have to be a serving, uh, you have to have control over the military to take over and control mm -hmm. and, and be, become president. If, if, if by asking the question whether it's possible for Mohos to retire in the near future, perhaps to join politics, I think that's not going to happen. Why? It's not going to happen because, mm -hmm. uh, because if, if the idea is that he has to have, you know, to, to make a go at the presidency, him and his dad are so obsessed with the idea of being a soldier. And, and, and unfortunate for us is that, you know, Coups have come back on the African continent they as are. the ways in which through which people hold office, right? Soldiers are back to holding the reins. It mm. happened uh, not too long ago. We had so many coups. Mm. There was a coup in um, 
a democratic coup mm. in Egypt. And schools are happening across the African continent. Mm. And, and as you can imagine, the governance on the African continent has gone through phases. You know, we had, a, we had the phase between 1960 and 1970. We had a, a former... Uh, anti-colonial fighters becoming heads of state and then all of them were kicked out almost all of them were kicked out through coups so 1960 1970s so was a period of coups then we entered a period of uh, liberation struggles mm -hmm. so you had liberation struggles across the African continent that's where the colleges yeah, came in came uh, and then between 19 th then the cold war happened the, co the cold war was time of liberation struggles mm -hmm. so after the collapse of russia we entered a phase of uh so su yeah. pseudo democracies mm -hmm. right where you can only keep power by constant organizing elections mm -hmm. they don't have to be you know legit elections but they have but to they appear be like elections so you went into a period where autocrats uh like the one that uh, general Kalaji speaks for uh, <laughs> re remained in power by organizing elections. Then the 2010s, the 2010s <coughs> gave us a period of street protests. We got, we got the Arab Spring. Mm. We got, we got w a bit of it in Sudan right mm. now. In terms of we entered some sort of slate stalemate. So you had a period of street protests. They almost happened here, but someone was smart enough because yeah. he had witnessed what had happened yeah. in the Arab world. It, it could rain in really quickly. <coughs> and then from there, it seems that like we're going back to the cause. No, to cause, mm. no, so to cause mm. right? Because mm. they've happened in West Africa. They're, they're coming further down. Uh, they so, so possibly, possibly, mm. and I think this is Mohammed Savini's chance. Mm. Mohammed stands a chance if he held the coup against his dad. Which I think is this, the chances of doing so are, sli are becoming slimmer and slimmer because he now lost the largest in the UPDF. Mm. So if you think about him retiring, that is quite <coughs> unlikely. Let me, let me because let me. he has to be a general in the idea, maybe become a CDF or maybe become something superior that he still has control over the military. Because the, the era we've entered is obsessively connected to men from the military becoming president. And Yusuf. Mm. When you look at the people who are in procurement, who are in logistics, who are in the armory, who are in the... All those positions, they come from the Mohoses regime of military. They went to school with him. He's, you know, has been their commander. They actually understand. He has a fiber in the system. At this juncture, <coughs> with his ambition already into the public domain, what is the margin of error that he cannot have? He cannot actually, you know, retire and say, let's do this, because I still have my boys within the fiber. You know, if you read Chinua Achebe, there's a saying which says, glowing fire mm. begets cold, impotent ash. True. Which, which book? Uh, this is Things Fall Apart. Mm. He talks about, uh, I think the Waganda have it, is it doubt is in Yeah. Uh, so Museveni has been, and you know, what we've seen, I think, in the past two years, when Mohozi made himself a public, a public person and started talking. I think uh, he doesn't <coughs> exhibit the tact and, and sophistication that his dad has, mm. which has enabled him to hold on to this country for all these years, mm. juggling and, and you know, moving this, these centers yeah, of dioxism. power, mm. playing cooperatives, handing over the economy to, to our former colonizers mm. that they now maraud all over this country, uh, playing religious institutions, taking out some of them, I'm not sure, besides having the power of coercion, like being able to control the truth violence, it's tactical. I didn't see Mohoz being the tactical genius, mm. moving bits and pieces, connecting them into a whole, then to hold the country together, mm. right? So he could, he could have all these people in different government, government institutions mm. as his men, but you need to appreciate that he's, he's been able to do that because his father is the president. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been able to do it because of him, because of the position he holds, right? So he still remains daddy's boy, right? And the problem for me is without daddy, I'm not sure that he's the tactical genius. This is why... Like the father. This is why I, I, I could sound a bit reckless. <coughs> this is why I, I was waiting for a moment of valor, mm. an act of absolute geniosity, <laughs> which I've been unable to see. You see, so now I struggle. So but this is not about me. It's the public it's perception. Again, it's the no, father? Not to say, well, King Oedipus did it. It's the public perception we have. That the pub, if you saw the cartoons coming from Nairobi, yeah, yeah, I see them. They're, they're still showing us daddy's boy, mm -hmm. playing with toys. That's the public <laughs> perception. Mm. So I don't. He has to be able 
to you know shed off this public perception. You feel di you, you feel disappointed but also, but also about listen, but also his listen to this. To the I think even in the military, General Kraje may not be able to admit this on the show. But I think even in the military, they still don't see him as as a man who can stand on his feet. Now that that's that's the, that's Mahoz's major dilemma. He has to find a way of shedding that off. And for me, I had a trick for him. I read him King Oedipus, hmm. the, the oracle, <laughs> or, <laughs> the oracle of Thebes. You know, yeah. you read him the oracle. <coughs> Take off the dad, even if you mean setting him in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in Ruzira, or even exiling him, so that you show us that you aren't daddy's born. Well, so the people you're talking about. The anarchy, they no, fought against well, and they well, I told you, it's African continent. It, Africa has been because governed through, through phases. We've, we've been through phases. You need to appreciate that the African continent you, has been you, a neighbor. You, 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 you are hoping for a queen in this country, mm. daydreaming. Well, I, I, I'm not saying I'm hoping for it. Uh, but he says he wants an act of value. There, there's ground. <laughs> there's ground. Because Africa has been governed through phases. I, yeah. I was able to plot that for you. Yeah. That we've never been as an African continent. We've been unable but, to but have... But we have proven that we don't follow what you people analyze elsewhere. No, uh, but, uh, Felix, the examples are bound. The examples mm. everywhere mm. that Africa 1960 had this phase. Yes. I, I, we have I, I found the, uh, the, the strong man, Kano Mama Gaddafi, went out through a phase. He didn't sweep him alone, he swept many. No, but the, the Gaddafi was involved by Europe. By, by yes, Europe. this is what I'm saying. That so it's not the same thing. Like like or even the coast. Or even or the coast. Oh, oh, you, 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 think, you think Morrissey was removed by Sisi? Who? Morrissey in Egypt. You think he was removed by Sisi? Yes. No, he was moved by the Americans. <laughs> this is how this was happening. <laughs> you know, you think the coups happening in my West Africa? Consent. Yeah. My consent. My consent here. Uh, you know, the, the, the coups happening in West Africa are singly by the West Africans? No, that's what I mean. Yeah, these yeah. are formal soldiers of AFCOM. My, but, you know, my concern here. Their government. Yes. My concern Sans here. <laughs> Kuma, my concern and, and uh, Fandi Klaiji. Mm. With all this going on, we the Wana Inches, we still love peace and stability. And you have it. My job as a journalist is to make sure that we hold that as a country. You have the peace. That's the, you that's have the, the peace. peace we must maintain. Yes. With all this going, what could be the next action of the UPDF? Um, uh, are you engaging other junior officers about this kind of utterances going forward? Because this president has changed quite a lot of dynamics. We are praying that the, pre the, Kenyan, the Kenyan president comes over this weekend. We are really praying so hard. You see but that, that are we staying stable? The people who have businesses in the region, um, in Ethiopia, in Congo, in Rwanda, in Kenya, these utterances could actually damage them heavily. No, but you see, again, I have stated before, and I'm accused of simplifying Please. Uh, <laughs> a, 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 Please. A, a, the matter. Please. Uh, there are certain things you ought know to read. Mm -hmm. If you have a general in a studio mm. at uh, half past 11, mm. all right, and the station is not surrounded by armed men. I don't know what's outside. <laughs> well, Raymond, <laughs> Raymond picks me from my car, so ask him. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> the point I'm making, mm. and you have been there before. Yeah. When uh, things happened in Zimbabwe, they happened in the Arab Spring, mm. there were prophecies. Uganda was going next. It didn't happen. Mm. I thought you guys were learning. The other revolutionary movements have had issues. Zimbabwe, Mozambique. Mm. We have not had. Why? It's not by accident of chance. Three. The military in Uganda has a history of instability. But for the last 36 years, you have a stable government. Why? So when you are reading into certain things, that's why even so be smiling. Because <coughs> you read the things mm -hmm. based on what is happening elsewhere, and you forget to do analysis of your own government. Mm. What is it that has killed? And I, when I was in Kenya uh, in 2008, I, that's what I told a, a senior officer. I said, if I were you, I would ask, how come this gentleman, Yori Museveni, has kept an army so poorly paid, but disciplined? Mm. And indeed, things is happening elsewhere, but here they don't. There is something 
called political education that summarizes everybody to appreciate where we've come from, where we are, where we want to go. Mm. And having given, which gives you tools of analysis, <coughs> yeah. and therefore, you don't see one single happening, and you say two for day. No. Remember that person who called you and said they have made him a general, we should leave the, the, the city? No, he called his uh, family. He uh -huh. said, leave the city. <coughs> you never but, know. But, 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 he's now a general. But Nothing happened. No, it reminded me, mm. in 1989, uh, <laughs> when uh, General Saleh was reshuffled uh, from being a commander, yeah. some individuals, the following day, didn't come for to work. Because they knew once you reshuffle a general, a government falls. Anything could happen. In this country, Generals are shuffled every <coughs> other year, but f uh, and can it I remains stable. So, mm. my brother Yusuf, the scholar, mm. as you do intellectualizing about these issues, there is something unique called the uh, UPDF, and that we want to appreciate. But, but I, sh I should tell you, uh, uh, General Kraje, mm. uh, uh, Mubarak in Egypt had an extremely disciplined army mm. for the over 30 years he was in office. Colonel Muammar Gaddafi had an extremely disciplined army under him. He never turned against him. Bashir in Sudan had an equal disciplined army. So the discipline of the army and whether it can act against the sitting president mm -hmm. is not entirely the work of the sitting president. It's partly the work of the sitting president, but also forces around, around mm -hmm. the world and the region. Yes, I know. Uh, as a country, Uganda, we have never been able, in our history, since independence, we have never been able to change leaderships on our own without external help. We've never. Neither has been the members of the military been able to say mutiny or turn against their leader mm. without support from outside. So as, as, long as, as long as the outside still is still content with the status quo, the army will remain disciplined. You think so? Yes. You think they have not attempted? Kolaiji has always been here telling there is what they call external forces. Yes. You, that do, is you think so? Uh, we were here. What, 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 uh, uh, please uh, inform me, Yusuf. Mm. We were here in the conference center. Mm. The notorious Carlos de Jaco mm. was sent here to assassinate the president mm. in 1995 mm. by the French and Bashir. He didn't succeed. That, that's so don't have no attempts. The, the, that's the, one of the several I could I could say. The, the, the point I'm trying yeah. to mm. make is not <laughs> is not single individuals trying to take out presidents. Mm. As long as and I can tell you, uh, General Kraje, one of the that Mr. Museveni has done so successfully, so successfully is to keep the international status quo happy with him. Regardless, so happy with the the and I think New Vision recklessly ran that as a lead story. Mm. Uh, not too long ago, the American ambassador to Uganda said we still need. Mr. Museveni, yes. mm. which, which was a statement of pride for the Museveni group, but also it showed that as long as they still need him as president of this country, foreign policy. nothing is going to happen. Because you see, a single individual, a group of individuals within the military, even if they want to do anything, they need to make sure they have the support mm. of the big players in, politi in, in politics. Mm. This is the international community, regional community. If you don't have them, however disgruntled you will be, mm. you can't pull off anything. So yes. what will be said? Oh, General Kraj will be telling us about how the EPDF is disciplined. <laughs> but in truth, even those who are disgruntled are content. They can't get support even if they want to do anything. That brings us to the end of this conversation. Gentlemen, I really want to thank you for coming through and we have this conversation. Afande Kulaije, Brigadier General Kulaije, we want to thank you for your commitment for coming out to the media to offer clarity. We have a few disagreements, but purposely for the national direction and to make things... No clear. disagreements are normal. Mm. And they are in order. Mm. Oh, of course. Yes. And uh, I want to thank you. Uh, if, so if there was no contradiction between your muscles and your bones... <laughs> you <wouldn't know>. <laughs> Very <laughs> much so. And to you, our great viewer, we want to thank you for being part of this show. On the spot, the feedback has been remarkable on Twitter, the hashtag NTV on the spot. And until next time, I want to remind you as a Ugandan, you have a duty to protect your country. And to those that are making reckless utterances 
we need to protect our country. Let's embrace the region, let's love the region, and let's invest in our country. Have a lovely night.